Hi everyone, this is Hiba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be working in my traveler's notebook. This photo here that I'm going to be documenting is just a photo of the kids and I playing games and trying to keep ourselves busy while we're staying at home. So I decide that I'm going to use some of my Close to My Heart stamp sets. I have this beautiful stamp set from Close to My Heart. It's called, I think it's Strokes of an Artist and it just adds like, I don't know, like a a blurb of paint but obviously you're using ink and it looks like paint it looks really cool you'll see once I stamp it out I do end up using also their ink pads for this so I start with this really subtle pink and I forgot the name of this ink pad I think it's peach maybe and I stamp it twice and then I'm gonna grab the great indoors stamp set to stamp my title now, I love this stamp set because it's all about staying at home. Uh, you have a stamp that says home, explore the great, out, the great indoors, just kind of, you know, funny little uh, sentiments. So I'm going to end up stamping staying in is the new going out right in the center. And I love how it looks. I think that Strokes of an Artist stamp set is becoming a favorite. I used it plenty in the past few days. But I love it and I even ended up stamping the little home right above my title and there was an arrow so I ended up stamping that as well underneath my title. Now I have plenty of you know quarantining type stamps and game night stamps. Uh, I believe the ones I grabbed are both from Studio Calico if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to use the little joysticks from those stamp sets and stamp them randomly in the background. I'll also go between like gray, black ink, I think I use some green ink, all kinds of different colors just to create a nice little background for my like title here. Now I always recommend when you're stamping tiny tiny stamps like this and you're creating a background, don't overthink it, that's number one. Number two, start with your lighter inks with one stamp and then kind of build from there. And then you can go back and forth between both stamps and kind of fill in those empty spots. And also don't forget to stamp on the edge of your page just to make it look more like pattern paper. You know, when you trim out pattern paper, you're gonna lose some of the images on the pattern paper. So, you know, just remember to stamp some off your page. So I wanted to add a kind of subtitle to my title. So what I decided to do was use the inline alphabet from Close to My Heart to stamp out play. And I'll use my sage ink to fill out the play. I thought this was a good spot to bring in my third color. You guys know I like to work in three colors on my spread. So I just filled it out with that beautiful green and then that helps me bring in the green to the background. So I'm going to grab the little joysticks from my Studio Calico stamps and fill out the backgrounds with some sage and that way I brought in a different color and it kind of pops and I love those alpha stamps. They are so pretty, such a subtle alpha and a great way to bring in color to any layout. Creating a background like this might look overwhelming, but it really isn't. It's actually a lot of fun. And it's basically just filling out the empty spots and trying to balance out, you know, the colors of ink you use. So try it out. It's a lot of fun and I love how it looks and it's a great way to use your stamps. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and stick down my photo because I'm done with my background. And I thought that I would use that great indoors stamp set to stamp very busy doing nothing because basically that's how I feel every day now. <laughs> I feel busy but I always feel like I did nothing and I will stamp another joystick as well. I just ended up using the black archival ink. I want to bring in some colors so I grab my puffy stickers. I end up adding a few green puffy hearts and I had this uh, puffy heart sheet from I think Pink Fresh. I thought this little green one worked well, so I ended up adding that to my title as well. And now I want to bring in some yellow because I love yellow and I want to keep it subtle. So I went with some 
word stickers, added a few here and there, and then called my layout done. Don't forget, I always link everything I used in my videos down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!